Yo, what's up, it's Tusi, and I'm going to highlight some iconic moments from my career. By the time I met one of my idols, I was at the Boys Club in Raleigh, North Carolina. I met J. Cole, and I remember being like 15, 16, and handing him a, a, a tape with a letter in it, him getting in the car and opening the letter and throwing this and popping the CD in and, and riding off. That was probably like a special moment for me. So yeah, shout out to J. Cole. A time a fan gave me something pretty weird or unique, uh, I say at tour with Rod Wave, a fan gave me uh, her wig. It's pretty weird, but very thoughtful of her. So uh, I appreciate the wig. It meant a lot to me. I definitely needed it. It was a blonde wig, a blonde wig. She threw it on stage and this might sound crazy. I think I put it on my head. I think I, I think I might have threw it back in the crowd to her though. I gave it back to her, I, you know. People need that stuff, you pay good money for that stuff, you know. Hey, you wanna know something crazy? You might think I'm lying. It was just wigs flying after that. Like three, four wigs threw on stage. Oh, crazy story. Yeah, crazy story. A time we probably got lost on tour, we wasn't on tour. I had a show in New Orleans one time, and this was when like, this is my first time ever going to New Orleans. We were walking down like Bourbon Street, and we uh, got caught down this like dark alley, uh, real late at night. It was kind of sketchy. We met some fans in the, in, the, in the alley, and I'm just glad we made it home. Feel me? Uh, yeah, so I, I say that's like a time we got lost. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad we made it home. I'll never do that again. So at the time, um, my clothes probably didn't show up to tour. I remember doing a show in, I believe we was in, not, nah, not Minnesota, Milwaukee. My bus was late. We had to catch a ride from the, my bus was parked somewhere else actually. And we caught a ride from the hotel uh, to the venue and my clothes were in the, was actually in the bus. Um, I think I ended up like running out on stage in like some slippers and and, and some pants and like a, like a plain t-shirt, but I had slippers on while I was performing. And um, made a performance, I ended up switching shoes. I throw my clothes often in the crowd, so you know, clothes really don't matter to me. The time I almost missed the show was um, at Clark Atlanta University. I had a flight out of New York flying to Clark Atlanta, well flying to Atlanta to go perform at Clark and I got there around like 9.20 and I was supposed to go on stage at like 9.20. I wasn't dressed yet. I had to go to my green room, get dressed, take pictures with the students still and then uh, yeah, but we made it in time. I, I probably landed at like eight o'clock, eight o'clock and then you gotta get your bags and then you gotta, the airport was like, some ways away. I got there like 9, 20, right on, right on time. But yeah, that was probably a time that I almost missed the show. All right, so a time that I, I almost forgot part of a song was um a few times. I can't even say pick a time. It was, it's been a few times, because sometimes I perform older songs. I'll be so focused on the, on the newer tracks that, you know, it's, it's not as easy to, re, to remember so many songs sometimes. So yeah, I, I bumped into that a few times. I can't even pick one moment. Oh, the fans saved me. Yeah, I don't, I don't even, the fans saved me. I, I, I let them sing. And I'd be like, oh yeah, that is the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I catch on, you know, so shout out to the fans. Yo, what up, what up, it's Tusi, and that was a couple moments from my career. You can go follow me on all socials at T-O-O-S-I-I, -I, and make sure you get the debut album, not sure.